today's ever-evolving world, leadership demands more than just decision-making. For greater outcomes, leaders need to unite people and make connections with their teams. But how? Hello. Hello. Do you have a minute? Yes, of course. Come in. Thank you. I just have problems in work. I'm really struggling with the workload and it's just too much, especially with everything that's happening. I really can see that you're struggling with your work right now. I've been there too, in your position, so I know what it feels like. But you just need to know that you're going through hard times, okay. but I really understand your position. Oh wow, and for how long has this situation been going on with your grandpa? For the last three years, and I am so worried about him, I should help him and I don't know what I should do. I understand your situation, but stay strong and just know that we've all been here and it's hard for all of us, it's really tough. Maybe we can catch up uh, next week. Okay. Now I have to go to a meeting, okay. but, uh, but yeah. Okay. Empathy, the ability to feel what others feel, is a vital trait for leaders. But too much can become a burden. It might lead to well-intentioned but misguided decisions. So how can leaders avoid the empathy trap? Hello. Hello. Do you I'm really struggling lately. The last couple of days I took a toll on me and I'm finding it really hard to focus. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Please take a seat. Here. How about this? You let me know. Are you sure with me what's been going on? Because I've noticed that you've been struggling and um, I really want to help. And so we can talk about this and we'll try to figure out what's better. Uh, for all of us, you know. Thank so, you. Yeah. I really appreciate that, that you give me some advice uh, to feel better, and I hope it will be better in the future. So thank you for everything. No worries. I just I'm so glad that we were able to find the solution um, after all this conversation, and I'm always here. So <clears throat> just come and talk to me whenever and we can find, always find a better solution, of course. Thank you for your support. No problem. Compassion, unlike empathy, combines understanding with action, allowing leaders to support their team effectively. It doesn't cloud judgment. Instead, it empowers leaders to make thoughtful decisions that benefit everyone. So how can leaders balance empathy and compassion in their role? Avoid the empathy trap and lead with compassion by taking a step back, asking what others need, practicing self-care, coaching for growth. Leaders can foster a workplace built on understanding, support and development. Remember, empathy connects you with your team, but compassion empowers you to lead effectively. This dynamic combination creates a workplace where both empathy and compassion thrive ensuring that everyone can grow and succeed.